Hello everybody, this is Ashley Ray, and today I am going to talk about Governor Snyder, who is the governor of Michigan. I'm sure you all have heard about what's going on here. Um, Flint, the citizens of Flint, are being poisoned by their water. Now I have a few notes here that I'm going to um, draw from so that I can make sure I'm giving you accurate information. So in March of 2014, the city of Flint began sourcing its water from the Flint River, which was supposed to save the city of Flint $5 million over the course of two years. Shortly after the switch, the residents start complaining about the water, about the smell, the taste, how it looked. It was like, um, Almost the color of urine, but like unhealthy urine. It, it was really, really dark, almost brown. So they began to run tests on the water. Um, the test results showed that there was some type of disinfectant inside of the water. Um, fecal, I'm sorry, fecal coliform bacteria and extremely high levels of lead. The high levels of lead has started to um, show in the bloodstream of children and infants in Flint. So, <laughs> Snyder declared a state of emergency on December 15th, 2015. Uh, apparently, Snyder and his team were made aware of the situation with the Flint water way before he declared this a state of emergency. From my understanding, him and his administration had been manipulating test results so that it could appear that it was less levels of lead than what was actually found. Now, regardless if this is true or not, again, I'm just telling you something that I read, if the citizens switched their water over, or all the water was switched over in March of 2014, and very shortly after, I'm going to say, let's say two months after that, the citizens start complaining about the water and getting the water tested. You just made a decision last month to actually do something about the water. Now, from my understanding, uh, FEMA is now involved. However... What exactly, what, what are they doing exactly? Because as far as I know, people have still been dropping bottled water off to fire stations in Flint. Um, the surrounding cities, people of Detroit, uh, people of Southfield, people of Bloomfield Hills, all of these places in Michigan have been trying to supply Flint with clean, healthy water. What more can Governor Snyder do to hurt the people in Michigan? You know, this has started way before the Flint situation. Uh, for example, um, and I'm sorry to just go on a different topic, but I really dislike Governor Snyder. And it's not because I know him personally, but it's because of the decisions that he makes or forces upon the citizens of Michigan. We've had three um, ballots for things that we voted against, and he's overturned our votes. Him and his administration have taken over Detroit Public Schools. Guess what? They have cut teachers' pay almost every single year, and the funding that they did get for DPS schools didn't go to DPS schools because if they did, there wouldn't be tiles falling from the ceilings on students. There wouldn't be water on the floor. The buildings wouldn't be freezing cold in the morning. There wouldn't be mold growing inside of the building that hasn't been taken care of. There wouldn't be dead rodents laying around for people to see when they go on a visit. I just don't understand it. This poisoning of the citizens of Flint is the last straw. 
I'm not sure what exactly can be done, but I do know that Governor Snyder needs to be removed from office, period. And I do know a couple of people who actually had petitions going around um, getting signatures so that he can be removed, but they have been shut down at least twice. So, I mean, I guess that's the power of government, but the state of Michigan cannot take any more. I mean, seriously, this is seriously an attack on the poor and people of color because there is no way you can lollygag about getting people an accurate, healthy, clean water supply. That's There are pictures of people with red blotches on their skin, with bald spots in their heads from this water that they are giving people to use. So if you have any suggestions, please contact me at Ashley Ray 817 I would really like to know what you all suggest we can do to get Governor Snyder out of office because I think this is blatant. I think it's intentional. It's unfair and it's structured racism. And um, I'm done for the day. You all have a good day.